Hi everybody, so in this video I wanted to kind of answer the questions, you know, what is a shadow PC? What specs do you get uh, when you get one? How much does it cost and what are my first impressions? Because, you know, if you're familiar with my um, channel, I play my high-end gaming, um, my high-end PC games through game streaming services because I have an old laptop that can't handle playing games. So generally, up, up to now, I've used uh, GeForce Now, which is a game streaming service. Um, and Shadow is, is is a similar sort of thing. So you're not playing the games on your laptop, you know, on your old laptop that can't really play Noughts and Crosses very well. You're playing it on a computer in a data center somewhere else, and you generally pay a monthly fee. So, with with the Shadow uh, Shadow PCs for the Shadow Boost, which is their entry level uh, service, you get the equivalent of a GTX 1080 um, for your graphics card. You get a 3.4 gigahertz or equivalent processor, and you get 12 gigabytes of RAM, and you get a 256 gigabytes of SSD. And then for additional price, you can add more 256 gigabytes blocks of hard drive space. Um, and this co costs from about 12.99 a month. I think mine's 15 pounds, I think, because I've got the base, I've got the Shadow Boost, and I've got another 256 gigabytes of, of, of hard drive space. Um, and this enables you then to play high-end gaming PCs on older laptops. You may say, well, wait a minute, Rob. Wait a minute, Rob. Doesn't GeForce Now do this for free? And, uh, and very low price, and it does. So with GeForce Now, they do a free version, um, and they do a five pounds a month version. With the free version, I think you get to you get to play for an hour, and with the premium version, which is a five, I think they call it the Founders Edition or something, you get to play much longer. You get to the front of queues when you want to play games, and as you can see here, you know you can play all these um, high end uh, uh, AAA titles, latest titles, old titles, Steam titles. Um, Bethesda, uh, sorry, Steam titles, not Bethesda, Steam titles, uh, Ubisoft games, uh, Epic Store titles, that sort of stuff. But you can't play everything with GeForce Now. With GeForce Now, you can only play games that have been um, authorized by the publisher or the developer to play on it. Now, that does mean there are hundreds of titles, probably thousands of titles available, but you can't play everything. And this is the difference with with um, with Shadow. So if I click on this, so this is my uh, Shadow. So what Shadow gives you, it gives you a whole PC in the cloud. This is your PC. This is just like you know you've you've set up a uh, a gaming de a gaming laptop or a gaming PC. In your in in your in your computer room or wherever it is, um, with that GTX 1080, with the 12 gigabytes of RAM, with the 256 gigabyte SSD and the extra um, uh, and, and the extra storage, and you can install whatever you like on this. Um, you can see here, you know, I've got games on here, Company of Heroes, Company of Heroes 2. These are games you can't get on GeForce Now. Now they're not new games; these are old games, but I want to play them. PUBG is another example. PUBG, you can't play it on GeForce Now. You can play it with Google Stadia. But I, I want to be able to play the PC version of Player Unknown's Battleground so I can play the latest versions. Hell Let Loose, you can play on GeForce Now. Insurgency Sandstorm, you can. DayZ, you can play that through GeForce Now. But the catch with things like Day, games like DayZ that have mods that you subscribe to, every time you fire up the instance of DayZ, it has to download those mods, so it takes a long time. It also means I can't play it offline, where you can with this. Well, I say offline, I can play it on my local Shadow PC in its data center up in London or wherever it is, um, and I can do do things like that. So that's why you're paying so much more, more money. That's why you're paying 15 pounds rather than five pounds, because it's your own PC. You know, you've got all the it's just it's just a Windows 10 PC. You know you you can install whatever you like onto it and 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 play with it that way. Um, and so far, I've been pretty impressed. The thing to remember with with anything like this, with GeForce Now and with Shadow, um, and with any of these services, it's all about your internet connection and and your bandwidth. Okay, so for example, in your house, if you've got four other people who are watching Netflix at the same time and streaming video and then you fire up your shadow then you're going to have you're going to have a dodgy connection I mean if we click on the quick menu on the right hand side you can see at the moment I've got a great connection um, latency is 18.6 8 milliseconds no packet drop 
Um, frame rate is 13 frames a second, but that's because I'm in the desktop. Bandwidth is 1.9. Generally, you'll get 60 frames per second uh, is the maximum you get out of um, out of Shadow Boost. But if you pay for the more expensive versions, you know you you can, and your uh, internet bandwidth can can handle it, then you know you can go up to to 4K 120 frames a second, that sort of thing. And what I have done is I've shared um, my uh, laptop screen. I plug a HDMI and plug it into the telly and games look really good when i've got a really good connection now the problem we have where we live is that we don't always have a great internet connection we don't have fiber to the door you know because i'm in the stick somewhere so that means it can get laggy sometimes especially if someone starts to stream video and, and stuff like that um somewhere else so that's that's the, that's the catch however apart from that I'm, I'm very impressed so it has the advantage of his advantages that it's your own pc but it also has the disadvantages that it's your own PC as well. So things like, you, you know, your games need updating, your graphics drivers need updating. Now a lot of this stuff gets done, um, a lot of this stuff stuff gets done automatically. But for example, with uh, GeForce Now, when you fire up um, the latest version of of Daisy, it automatically has the latest version. I'm ready for you where with with your shadow PC you know you start it up and then depending on your settings in Steam it'll then start downloading the latest version um, and then you can um, then then you can start playing it otherwise so what we'll do just to kind of show you let's um, fire up a game what should we, what should we fire up um, let's fire up I guess we could fire up Daisy can we let's fire up Daisy I kind of show you that here we go. So it's exactly as it would be, and it feels incredibly responsive. When you when you have a good internet connection, it feels just like um, GeForce Now. Um, so here we go. So uh, servers, community. Let's go into. I tell you, let's go into my server. Let's go into that one. No mods. Join. Uh, let's see if I can remember the. So it's exactly as it would be if you were playing it locally, um, and the, the beauty with this, and what I'm very excited about the uh, the Shadow PC is that I can install the mods I need um, to play Daisy offline, <laughs> even though I'm playing it online. But I can install on my local Shadow PC the things where I can have a uh, a Daisy server playing on that computer, which I can then mod and practice with mods with. Um, I, and it just makes it easier for me for when I'm doing mods for DayZ because the problem is when you're playing it through GeForce Now um, it means that you can't um, there's a lot of starting and stopping the game and that sort of stuff so there, there we, we got a warning there about lag um, and what happens is if the game gets very laggy you do find you then start to get problems with you know you know with frame rate and and controls um, and that sort of stuff so that that's the catch you know um so if you've got a really nice internet connection you're really going to enjoy it if you haven't like mine where it can be intermittent sometimes then it's not brilliant at those times of the day when when it's like that so if we click on that now we can see so we, we've got a good connection at the moment so it's loading up And then we'll get into the game. Well, and what I've found, and this is true for GeForce Now as well, is that games like, say, Company of Heroes or Iron Harvest, RTS games, are better than first-person shooters. You know, if you're trying to play a Twitch shoot first-person shooter like Insurgency Sandstorm, or um, uh, what else do we have? Uh, or uh, Postscriptum, or Squad, or um, you know, and if or if you downloaded and installed Call of Duty or something like that, that that would be much more difficult. So, as you can see, we're in, we're running around. Now let's just see what settings we've got it set up. As options, video. See, I'm on extreme settings now. I probably don't really need to be on extreme. High is probably enough. Oop, I do. And then I can run around, you know, and it all looks, all looks very nice, and it all controls as you would expect it, and it looks better than the the console version. Um, and I can attach it to my TV, 
Um, and especially for games like PUBG, actually, they have pretty good console support on the PC version, even though <coughs> the, the problems are often um, around, you know, controlling recall and stuff like that. So um, let's just exit out of here. Exit now. Shut that down. Show to exit this, please. And then we'll be back on the desktop in a second. So there we go. So as you can see, it's just like having your own PC, um, your own gaming PC in the cloud. Is it worth it? I think it really comes back to those questions about um, <coughs> your internet connection. Is it strong enough to be able to sustain um, quite high bandwidth um, for during busy periods? You know, you know what I'm talking about, like in the evening, <laughs> you know, at weekends, that sort of stuff. And if it is, then I think you definitely should be looking into uh, into uh, something like Shadow. Now, one of the problems with Shadow is that because it is so popular, it takes an awful long time to get one. I think I subscribed to it back in August, and I only just got it um, recently, a couple of day, days ago, on the 14th of December. So you do have to be patient. They don't charge you for every single month, but you know you do, do have to hang around. Um, I will be doing quite a lot of content about the Shadow PC, you know, to trying it out with different games. What's it like to play PUBG? On Shadow, what's it like to play Daisy? What's it like to play Company of Heroes? Um, fingers crossed, it's going to be good because, as I say, I can install whatever I like. I could install um, the uh, Battle.net, the Activision launcher, so that I could um, play uh, Call of Duty Warzone, the PC version. Um, I could install the Bethesda launcher, so I could play Fallout because Bethesda aren't on um, aren't on GeForce now. Um, all those free games you get from Epic, if they're, you know, some of them supported in GeForce now, some of them aren't. Again, you could you can install the Epic launcher, and you you know you can install Photoshop if you wanted it, um, and, and go on that way. So I'm really excited to explore how good this is, um, and um, there we go. That, that's my first impressions. Uh, excited, uh, trepid trepidation is probably the wrong word. I'm very excited about what I'm going to discover about um, the um, the Shadow PC. And I'm really excited to find out how I can then use this to, to leave a more and um, uh, different sort of content creation as well for the channel, um, especially when it comes to modding uh, DayZ um, and things like that, because I'll have a gaming PC that I can apply mods locally to, um, which will speed up some of the process. Okay, so there we go. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. Um, if you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll, I'll see you again soon. Um, again, to come out the the the, the um, shadow, I can close that. Come out full screen mode, and then I'm back on my local de desktop. <laughs> Here we go. Brilliant. Thank you very much.